Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week, why is breakfast always such a noisy affair? asks David. Hi, Naked Scientists. Could you please tell me what's happening when you hear the snap, crackle and pop with Rice Krispies? Thank you. So what is going on in the breakfast bowl? Hi, my name is Paul Wheeler and I work for Kellogg's. It's actually a really simple process. It's got a lot to do with compression. What we do is we take little grains of rice, we soak them in water, add our secret ingredient to it, and then we cook the rice at a really high temperature. What happens then is the rice puffs up and little air pockets form inside the grains of rice. Now, also when you cook this sort of thing like rice at such high temperatures, the starch molecules kind of begin to bond together. And what that does is if you would take a rice crispy out of the packet and look at it under a microscope, you would see the actual surface of the rice becomes more brittle and actually more transparent. So what happens is when you pour the cold liquid onto the rice crispy, the small bubbles of air that we've got, they collapse in on themselves and the rice that is crisped up through the cooking process collapses as well. And that's where you get the sound effect from that your listeners will hear when they pour the milk on the cereal. It's a really, really simple process. And actually, if people look at the surface of the milk when that's happening, they can actually see the air bubbles actually rise up and appear. Heating the rice creates super brittle bubbles. It's just the simple pressure of milk that causes them to shatter and let the gas inside escape. They say a good cereal is good for your heart, but what about pacemakers? Hello, my name is Savio Mal Oliver from India. My question is, how does an artificial pacemaker know how fast the heart should beat? How does a pacemaker know to keep in step with your exercise? Help us answer this next question of the week by writing the answer on our forum. You can do that at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Just sign in and write your thoughts. Or you can email us, and that's chris at thenakedscientists.com. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.